Obsidian is an excellent tool for taking notes, but when it comes to capturing structured data, it falls short, especially when you are trying to do so on the go with mobile phone, because writing markdown on a mobile phone sucks. In my previous video, I talked about a plugin called as Note Toolbar, which makes it convenient and really easy to use Obsidian within your mobile device. In this video, we are gonna be talking about another really useful plugin called as Model Forms. It's gonna be immensely valuable for you if you are using Obsidian mainly on a mobile device. Even if you are using it on a computer device, then it's equally valuable. Model Forms is a game changer plugin for streamlining your data input with customizable forms. Let me show you an example of what this Model Form plugin can do. So I'll create a new node. And this is the node toolbar that I talked about in the previous video. If you have not watched that video, you can do so via the link in the description. I have configured the node toolbar plugin with the templated plugin and I have created a template that triggers a form for daily node. This is an untitled node. If I click on this today section, it will open this form for daily node where it will prompt you to add data. It has the title and description for all of these data types. So let me just write for focus mid session, writing done, workout done, reading 60 minutes. Today's total score, 33 tags dailies. Now I can just click on submit and this will be added as front matter, as properties in our node. So this is just one example of how you can use this model form. And model form is not a standalone uh, plugin because it works best when it is complemented with other plugins like data view, templater, quick add, or plugins like node toolbar or buttons. This plugin will elevate your Obsidian experience when it comes to capturing data or capturing structured data in Obsidian. In this video, we will dive deep into the model forms plugin, how you can set the plugin, how you can configure the plugin and how you can uh, start using it in your workflow. So let's dive in straight to the video. First, we'll need to install the plugin model forms. I have already installed it, but you can go to settings, go to come to plugins, browse and source for model forms from here and it only has 7,300 downloads, which is very less compared to other plugins. It is, I believe it is one of the most underrated plugin because a lot of people don't know about this plugin. So this is model forms. It defines forms for capturing data that you will be able to open from anywhere you can run JavaScript. So I'll reinstall it. So I also have the same configuration that you will have when you install it. So enable the plugin. Now you can go to options and here are only two options. The editor position where the form editor will be opened, right, left, or main view. I'll choose main view because it will be easy to show you in the video. Main view means the center pane, left view, and right view means the left sidebar and right sidebar. Here is another option to attach model form shortcut to global window. We'll not enable that option right now. Once you install the plugin, you will have the ribbon icon to edit forms. You can click on it. it, will open this new tab in the main view. And here is a example form, which is set by default. I'll create a new form, create a new form. Here you will need to add the title of the form, which must be unique. So I'll just write daily note form, which we'll be using. Then the form title, which will be visible on the form model. So today's daily note. And here you can add custom class, which you can used to customize the form using CSS. If you click on preview, this is what it looks like because we do not have any fields over here. You can add fields from here, click on add more fields and you will be able to add these fields like this. I'll just add four or five fields over here to show you how it works. First here, you'll need to write the name. So I'll just write focus mate. Label will be visible on the form so I just write focus mate sessions. Whatever you write in this name field will be given back to you when you enter data. This label will be shown in the model form. Description also will be shown in the model form. So I can just write a uh, description. How many focus mate sessions did you complete today? Okay. Now here you'll need to specify the type of data. And this is the num number. Similarly, you can uh, add other types of data. Let's say it's writing. Did you write at least 500 words today? And let's make it 
a checkbox type for that you can choose toggle similarly you can write let's say reading level reading how many pages did you read today now this can also be number or you can also use a slider over here you can if you use a slider you can specify the minimum and max value in this setting let's go through some of the other available data types that we can add uh, here text number tags which will allow you to add tags email which is similar to text but it will have email format then uh, there is phone number date and time which will allow you to pick the date and time separately and there is one called date and time uh, which will allow you to pick date as well as time in the same data then there is text area let me add a text over here note today or let me just write description i'll add description over here describe your day in one word okay this should be the description and not label add it over description this is text area let me add few more fields and we have finished the text area toggle will be used for checkbox styles then there is note which allows you to select notes today's okay i'll just name it note and label note i'll just leave description and all those uh, stuff as empty uh, first here is you can select source folder for the note type this note data type allows you to select notes from your vault and you can also pre-configure a folder from where you want to uh, show that note then you have folder data type which you can specify to select the folder then you have slider which i already talked about previously then we have select which allows you to select from a list of available option you can go to select note and here you have source as a static or source as nodes if you click on nodes it will be similar to the node data type but if you click on static then you can add fields over here let's say you want to rate your day and you want to create ratings you can just use like emojis let's write okay so this is five star you can write the value as five star best uh, value as four star good similarly you can add more fields and these options will be available for you to select okay let me add another field type and rename this as the rate name and the description will be how good was your day type will be select which we have already configured note label will be it your day then we have few other options like data view which allows you to populate the input suggestion here you can see you should provide a query that returns a list of strings for example db.pages uh, from tax and it will be mapped to uh, this file name or you can take advantage of swizzling to write shorter queries like this so you will also be able to see the results review over here for example i can just write db.pages and source from book tag and you can see it is returning objects only but we'll need to write file.name and it will return all of the book notes all of the notes in my world that are tagged with book so this is a simple uh, data view type which allows you to populate the input field then you have multi select which is similar to the select option where you can choose static notes or data view option this is similar to the previous ones combined then we have document block which will not add any field but it will just show in our model form so i'll just delete now if you click on preview it will display a model form that looks like this here you will be able to enter numbers and this is a checkbox this is a slider this is a description and this is where you will rate your day now you can click on save and close now we have learned about creating a model form and different input data types that are available with this plugin
there is one more option within the model forms that is template. Templates are used when you create a new node directly from a form. You can put any text that you want and reference the fields are using the name syntax. For example, you can write, I did focus mate sessions and it will return the number that you enter into the focus mate query in the form. Today was a, you can write day rate day. Similarly, you can uh, uh, add other things that you want to include in this note, such as new tasks. Now we have created a form with a template. We have finished the first part. Now comes the second part, that is, how do you call the model form? How do you trigger the form to open? Now there are different ways you can trigger the form. Uh, if you go to the documentation of this plugin, go to model form documentation, and over this documentation site. There are three ways in which you can trigger the model form. That is, you can either call it directly from the JavaScript or you can use it with Templator or you can use it with Quick Add. I'll be displaying an example of using it with Templator or you can go to this documentation guide to go in depth on how you can use it with either JavaScript or Quick Add. I'm not using Quick Add, so I'll be using it with Templator. You will need to copy this code from here and go to your vault. I'll just delete this untitled note. And now you will need to create a new template inside the template folder. This is model form two, because I already have model form here. I'll delete it and write just model form. Now you can just copy and paste that code from there. Now let's create a new note. Enable the stack, tab mode, create a new node, untitled node. Go to command palette and source for templater. Insert template model. We'll be using model form. Now this is showing an error, model form error, folder people does not exist because we are using the example form right now. And I guess the example form is configured to be placed inside the people folder. That is why it is showing the people folder does not exist because people folder does not exist in my world. So I'll just use uh, the daily node, change the form name, which is every form has a unique name. So you'll, you'll need to write daily node. Now I can go to command palette and source for templater, go to modal form. Now here you can see, now I can add these values. Focus mode sessions three, writing on, reading 26. This is just description. Rate your day, good, submit. Now we have added the data in our node in the front matter. If you go to preview mode, it looks like this. If I open the sidebar and open this file properties, it looks like this. This is one way of triggering the modal form and adding data to your nodes. Other options include calling the form using JavaScript or you can open a form with quick add capture. You will need to create a capture and activate the capture format. Then in the format text area, you will need to create a code block with language defined as JS, quick add and copy the code below. You'll need to copy the code below and add it into the capture format field, just like it is shown in this image. Now another feature that this plugin offers is a different ways to uh, show results, form results method. When you open a form, you get back a form result object. The object contains the data of the form and some methods to help you process it. And it has several methods that can be used to process the format data. The method that we used currently when we triggered the form with templater was the adds front matter string. Other options that include are as data view properties, get data, or as a string, template string. Uh, you can dive deep into the documentation to learn more about this. Uh, for example, I just show it here. If you use the font matter string, it will add the data in this format. And because we have this form data inside these three dashes, it will act as a YAML front matter, aka obsidian properties. If you remove these three dashes, 
from here. I'll remove it now. I'll trigger the model form template and just add random data. Now you can see it is not added as YML front matter or properties, just plain text file. If you want to add it as YML front matter, then you will need to add these three dashes on the top and on the bottom below this template script to call the obsidian model form. And there was another options that was to use the data view properties. For that, you all you need to do is replace this as front matter string with as data view properties and remove these three dashes. Now trigger the templater model form writing slider best bra. Yes. Okay, I did not complete the syntax over here. I'll need to add parentheses and this sign. Let's submit. Now it's working. The data is displayed as data view properties with two colons. There are more features that are available within this plugin. You can go to the documentation section and you can see, uh, you can also provide default values when opening a form. You can create inline forms. You can manage the form results in different ways. You can see there is a different There is an entire page regarding how you can manage the results, how you can manage the front results. And there is also advanced section where you can see, you can also modify the front matter with a form. If you want to, you can make calling forms more convenient by using this snippet. And you will need to save this as a JavaScript file in your templates snippet folder. Then you can call it from templater. These are some advanced options that are available. Depending on whether you need it or not, you can go and explore more of these features. Let me show you a simple workflow. That is how you can integrate this model form with templater and this no toolbar plugin. Or you can also use it with other plugins like a MetaBind or Buttons plugin. Once you have finished creating the template that you want to use, you can go to settings, go to templater. Now go down over here and you can create a template hotkeys from here. You can add a new hotkey and here source for the template, which will trigger the model form. Now click on this plus icon. You can either set the hotkey from here to use it conveniently when you are on your computer or you can configure it with no toolbar plugin or buttons. So you can configure it with the no toolbar plugin. I'll show you how you can do it. If you have not watched my previous video on Node Toolbar, I definitely suggest you doing it because it is one of the must have plugins if you are using Obsidian from mobile devices. So here is Node Toolbar plugin. Click on edit. Create a new toolbar. I already have one. And let's say, okay, I'll add a new toolbar item. And it will be fun. And here you will need to choose command source for model form. And you will see the option templater insert model form, right? Now go back. You can see here, there is the option to add a form. If you click on it, it will trigger this model form. I bet this plugin will make your workflow very smooth. And if you are using obsidian on a mobile device, then the value that it creates will be immense. One thing that I forget to tell you is that I'm uh, writing a book called as how to take smart notes with Obsidian. If you are interested, uh, you can sign up for the waitlist from the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great time. See you again. Bye bye.